All right, so here we are, day one, Street Fighter V. And I just wanted to take you guys through some of the uh, the options that they have for the graphics and stuff like that in the uh, PC version. And uh, just talk about the performance and uh, talk about uh, just generally, you know, how the game is performing on the PC. So um, just to give you uh, just kind of a clue of what I'm running, I'm running a, a 7990 with 32 gigabytes of RAM and uh, an 8350 overclock to 4.6 gigahertz. So, I mean, I've got a pretty, you know, way above average machine here. And um, so just to talk right now, um, obviously the game is going to be capped at 60 FPS. It's a fighting game. Um, I don't know why you would want to play it above 60 FPS, but it, it just doesn't work like that anyway, you know. Um, so yeah, it's capped at 60 FPS. Um, it does support Crossfire uh, pretty well. Um, obviously, I, my 7990 is a dual GPU uh, graphics card, um, but it ran pretty well when I ran it just in single GPU mode as well, um, just using the stock default preset in the profile. So. Let's get into some of these graphics options. Go ahead and get my controller out real quick. Um, so you know you got your sound settings, um, all your normal stuff. You got your battle voice settings. Now this stuff is going to be pretty much the same as it is on the console version. Um, you got your screen settings. Um, all of this stuff is probably going to be pretty much the same as it is on the console version. I don't have a PS4. I'll never buy a PS4. Um, but yeah, I mean, so this is what you came here for. So you've got your basic resolution settings, and then you've got, um, and it, for me, I'm playing at 1080p, so um, obviously that's as far as it'll go up to, but I've seen people play at 4K. I would imagine it'll go up to 5K if you have one of those uh, Macs that you're running, you know, a dual boot on or something like that. But um, yeah, so uh, 1920 by 1080. Uh, obviously there's no triple monitor mode, there's no, uh, you know, iFinity mode for this. Why would you want to play like that? That's crazy. Um, so this full screen mode right here, as you can see at the bottom, it says change the game display to full screen mode. Playing in full screen mode may cause your game to run slower. And it's just weird. Don't play this game in full screen mode, okay? Just turn it off, okay? Turn it off, turn it off. It really causes your computer to go haywire. Um, I hope this is something that they fixed. It was always a problem in Street Fighter 4 playing on PC, trying to switch between screens, um, unless you had it in the windowed mode. And obviously in the windowed mode, you also had issues with performance. Sometimes the V-Sync would come off, or uh, sometimes you know you would just get random slowdowns and stuff like that. So the, uh, you know, the, the, the windowed mode in Street Fighter 4 wasn't a good option, and the full screen mode in this version it isn't a good op option, but it's kind of counterintuitive, right? Because you would think, yeah, of course I want to play in full screen mode, okay? But no, don't play like that. Um, what I found, if you want to go to another window, because it, it completely kills your mouse in, in when the full screen mode is off. It completely kills your mouse, okay? Um, but what, you, what I figured out that you have to do is either use your Alt tab, just like you always would, or hit the window key. And uh, when you hit the window key, it gives you your, your cursor back. But what happens is if you're using 8.1, Windows 8.1 like I am, your the, the, the start screen comes in behind uh, the video game window. So it never comes above it, it comes behind it. It's really strange, okay? Um, so you're like opening up stuff behind the window. So it's really weird, it's really weird. This is something that I really hope they fix in the upcoming version. Um, so here we go, this is all of your settings, okay? So right now, obviously I'm running the 7990, you're like, man, your your settings are really low. So it's really hard to record um, and play this game at 60 FPS. What I figured out is that the game is very, very, very CPU bound. Um, because with the 7990, if on a GPU bound game, I should be destroying this game, right? Um, but I'm not. I'm not destroying it when I'm recording. Now, when I'm not recording, no problem. No problem at all, okay? So apparently, you just don't need a very stout GPU to play this game, all right? Um, 
you know, like I said, um, when I think when I, I was playing at 1080, everything on high, everything turned all the way up, 60 FPS, no problem, no stuttering. But when I started recording, my performance dropped in half. Okay, my performance dropped in half. Um, so that's obviously a really, really, really big deal. You know, you don't want your performance dropping from 60 to 30 FPS. So this is what I found with my computer. I could record in full 1080p and I could also uh, record, stream, and play this game at 1080p and, um, and get 60 FPS. These are my settings right here if you want to copy that. Um, Yeah, so, uh, so yeah, you have all of your normal stuff. You have this uh, display depth, okay, uh, which is basically your depth of field. You know, um, if you know anything about cameras, you know that the more depth of field you have, the more three-dimensional it feels. You have your your generic anti-aliasing, um, and there there are a few glitches in this this graphic settings menu. Uh, the graphics settings menu is just very, very slow. It's very slow right now. Um, but yeah, but this, the graphics settings are much, much like they were in Street Fighter 4. Um, I got a lot of performance boost when I turned the anti-aliasing off. Um, there is a little bit more artifacting, uh, but it's not that much. Like I said, I'm trying to stream, record, and play at 60 FPS, okay? So that's a lot for any computer, you know? Um, post processing that that obviously impacts your computer a lot as well, so I turn that all the way to low. But there's not that much of a of a difference visually. Um, the biggest difference that I saw visually when I turned it all the way down to low was the shadowing. When you turn that shadowing down to low, it basically becomes, you know, uh, the original Doom. <laughs> Everything is pure blocks. It's just block, 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 block. The shadows, at least. The textures still look good. Um, obviously, when you're playing a game, if you can keep the textures high, that's going to be your, your biggest determining factor, okay? And uh, just like in Street Fighter 4, the effects uh, did not affect the performance that much, um, but I turned it all the way down to low because it's not something that you really, really notice as you're playing the game. But like I said, I only did this because I want it, I'm recording, streaming, and playing all at the same time. That's kind of the advantage of having a console over a PC. When you have a console, you can just hook your console up to your capture card. It processes everything um, independently, external of your um, of your computer. So you're not sharing processor resources with the game and your your streaming setup. So this is one of the downsides of being in a PC master race, but um, obviously, I can I can manage it pretty dang well. Okay, uh, so yeah, let's let's keep going. So um, the resolution scaling this is new. This is new, and it actually has a huge uh, you know impact on your performance. Um, I just noticed every time I turned it down, maybe ten percent, I got another two to three uh, frames per second. Okay. But you, what you don't want to do, you don't want to turn this all the way down. Um, basically, it affects the overall sharpness of the game. This is not the super resolution scaling that's going to, you know, have the game at 4K, but only, you know, process it in 1080p. This is not that. This is like your sharpness, your detail, you know. And when I turned that thing down to zero, it looked horrible. It looked awful. So don't do that. Keep it at around 70, and you should be good. Um, but yeah, so it really does make a big difference on the visuals, and it makes a big difference on the uh, in, on the on the on the, the the performance of the game as well. So I'm gonna play a little bit, and uh, that's gonna be the end of the video. I'm gonna show you, you know, kind of how my machines are performing, um, and it's good. I'm not getting much frame tearing, you know, none of that weird stuff. But it's loading pretty well. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, I guess I'll play Ken. I hate Ken, but I'll play him anyway. Play some music. Make this look cool. <clears throat> hey, you ready to do this? So you saw when it came up, it had like, uh, You know, 
a minute where it you know had to load all the textures so you can see your shadows look sharp uh, you know the depth is good um, you know things are good you know you don't really notice that I been, that I turned everything down um, I think it still looks better than the console version okay let's do an ultra real quick and I'm, I'm hovering right at 58 59 60 FPS okay so yeah you're not you're not gonna notice that yeah I'm not I'm not dropping down pretty much at all um, so yeah you, if you look closely you can see that there's no anti-aliasing on you know it's it's pretty obvious um, that's something that I'm not really used to um, we had a little slowdown there but you know this is not normal because normally I would be uh, that was a slowdown because somebody was coming into my into my uh, game here so let, let's see how uh, let's talk about the net code for a little while too um, I've noticed that the net code is pretty good I haven't I haven't really had any issues I haven't had any kind of uh, any kind of stuttering so let's see what this guy's got so I've just learned that this game is is kind of lame actually <laughs> Uh, most of the, the wins that I've had have been just me playing lane, playing kind of really basic Round street fighter. Fight. So I don't, I don't really know what he can do. Let's just keep him away. Okay, he DPs on wake up. You gonna DP? You gonna DP? No, no, he's not gonna DP. Okay. Let's just play some banks with Street Fighter. Oh, so he, he gets a. Okay, alright, so we, we got this here. Oh, he's YOLO. This character's very YOLO. me knowing the character like he just ran straight up at me man you lose all right well, that's it that's it that's all i've got so as you can see the game performs pretty well net code solid <laughs> and in this game you get points even when you lose how about that that's awesome <laughs> maybe i'll just keep losing for no reason just to get the losing points so I guess you have lead points in this game uh, as opposed to your battle points and stuff like that. Alright. Well that's it. That's all I got. Uh, just a little performance um, video about Street Fighter V on PC. Peace out.